was a formal announcement by the president from the White House, but there were still echoes of Donald Trump's previous life as a reality TV host. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. When Justice Scalia passed away suddenly last February, I made a promise to the American people. If I were elected president, I would find the very best judge in the country for the Supreme Court. He called his nominee to the podium. So was that a surprise, was it? The choice was not a big surprise. At 49 years old, if confirmed, Neil Gorsuch would tip the balance of the court towards conservatives, and he could be on the bench for decades to come. It is for Congress and not the courts to write new laws. It is the role of judges to apply, not alter the work of the people's representatives. Choosing a Supreme Court judge is one of the most important political decisions that any president can make. It's always controversial, but then again, everything this president has done in his short time in office has been controversial too. Trump's executive order on immigration has caused chaos at airports and widespread protest. Thank you all very much. On Capitol Hill, there's been condemnation of the order and of the dismissal of acting Attorney General Sally Yates, who was fired by Trump after refusing to implement it. The White House is now saying it's not an immigration ban, even though Trump himself on Twitter used the word ban. Press Secretary Sean Spicer says reporters should use the phrase extreme vetting. Is what? he confused or are you confused? No, I'm not confused. I think that the words that are being used to describe it are derived from what the media is calling this. He's been very clear that it is extreme vetting. Although it's so extreme that if you're coming to the U.S. from any of the affected countries, it's highly likely you won't be allowed to board your plane. Thank you very much. After days of controversy, the Trump White House brought forward the Supreme Court announcement. They believe the selection of Judge Gorsuch will be popular with their core supporters and will perhaps drown out all their other problems. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Washington.